were expecting you. Yeah, you got here just in time. George Crane. Birch. This will introduce Mike Hodge, good and well in hand at any job. See what you can do for him. You think Crane is his friend? That's something Ken Mason will have to find out. Sure, I've seen this note before. But where did you find it? Find it? Why, uh, Moccasin brought it to me. It was discovered among Hodge's personal effects. Oh, I see. Well, there ain't much I can tell you, except that Hard showed up here a couple weeks ago with this note. I told him your outfit would be the best bet for a job. Strange how he got mixed up with Kilgore. Well, bad finds bad. I reckon that's your answer. Yes, you're right, Mr. Crane. Thanks anyway. All right. Seems mighty strange for Mason to show up with that note. He must be working hand in hand with Zorro. What do you expect? Zorro to be working with us? No, of course not. But we just can't sit around and watch Pioneer Telegraph get his franchise. It's bound to bring law and order into this territory. You ought to know me well enough by now to know that I'm not one to be sitting around. I've got an idea that'll make things work out the easy way. Yeah? But we'll need Sam Green from the land office to run the deal for us. Couldn't have picked a tougher man to handle. Come here. You can use this to soften him up. That poster in the hands of the right people will have Green doing a jig from the end of a rope. This will convince him. What's your plan? We'll have him draw up a claim on the Pioneer right of way. Morning, Miss Rita. Hello there. Morning, Rita. How's everything going out here? Things couldn't be smoother since we lost Mr. Hodge last week. <laughs> What's so funny? I was just thinking how Kilgore cut four days off our schedule by dynamiting the pass. We'll have to send him a thank you note. You should give credit where it's really due. Actually, we owe all our good fortune to Zorro. If we're lucky enough to beat the deadline and get the telegraph lines through, we have him to thank for it. Well, that'll be difficult. He's a ghost, you know. How soon do you estimate we'll finish this next section? Well, this is how things look, Rita. If we... Miss White? Yes? I'm Sam Green from the land office. It's my understanding that you're building a telegraph line through this area. Well, there's no secret about that. Well, I have an order here for you to cease and desist from any further operations. Uh, just a minute, Mr. Green. Wait a minute, Ken. Let's hear what this is all about. Thank you, miss. Carl Morphin, he filed a claim on this area. And now that you're trespassing on it, he wants to be paid for it. Trespassing? The amount he's asking is $10,000. Who is this Carl Morphin? I've never heard of him. Well, I have his claim here. You can see for yourself. Carl Morphin, claimant. Witnessed by Jim Cleaver. Why didn't Morphin let us know about this sooner? Well, maybe he felt that it would be worth more if he waited until after you started construction. People are like that, you know. Look, Mr. Green, this has happened so suddenly. Couldn't we have some time to work something out? Well, I don't want to seem unreasonable, but you can have until uh, midnight. 
Midnight. That will be final. Morphin won't wait any longer. All right, then. Midnight. Good day. So you had everything said, including overlooking something as simple as a clear title. Rita, I didn't overlook it. Well, somebody's wrong. And any delay to prove our legal rights will mean our finish. I'll go see Morphin and straighten things out with him. Wouldn't wager on your being able to do anything about it. Perhaps Azoro can help. I can get word to him. That's a wonderful possibility. I'll still carry out my idea. Thanks for helping me out. Yes, but what can you or Zorro do? Remember the name of the witness on the claim, Jim Cleaver? Yes. Well, I know where he lives, and I think Zorro can get some valuable information from him. Vamos. <laughs> Me one, will you, Jim? Yeah. I wonder how much longer we'll have to wait for that green to show up. About an hour. That time, Pioneer Telegraph ought to be out of business. I wouldn't count on that. Cleaver, what do you know about that phony claim? Not much time left, Miss White. I might as well finish preparing this quick claim for you to sign. There's still five minutes. Time flies, ma'am. And since the party of the second part is unable to pay the sum of $10,000 to the party of the first part, I therefore renounce all claim of the Pioneer Telegraph Company to any and all supplies and equipment on said property. Time's up, Miss White. Sign here. What's the meaning of this? You should be able to answer that better than I, Mr. Hobson. It's a lie. Well, this should give me a little more time, Mr. Hobson. 